we met before? You survived because of the techniques I found, huh? Tell me some. Let me show you another great technique then. Allow me to explain suspending. This technique gives you more room to maneuver. Push a block off a ledge with nothing below it. As long as the edges connect, the block will remain in place. How's that? I'm a regular blockologist, huh? Hmm, that's a good start. Try to remember this one too. Allow me to explain pullback. If you climb up and find yourself stuck, try pulling a block and backing down. By creating a stairway as you go down, you will be able to go higher than you could before. That's crazy. You knew that? Yeah, I knew. Okay, you find any new moves, you come straight to me. This is coming from the executive manager. I'll write down our techniques. Feel free to check them out if you get stuck. <sighs> How high does this reach? We found a landing of sorts here, so we should expect there to be other sets of stairs. Don't tell me we've got to go through this tomorrow. And the day after, and... Third time's the charm, right? Huh. <laughs> ah, ah, the monster! It's fuzzy and fluffy at the same time, and it's coming right at me! Ah! Snap out of it. There's nothing like that anywhere near here. The monster talks. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Huh? I saw a sheep fall past me on my way up. I, I can't get that scream out of my head. It won't go away. All you'll hear is your own death scream. You can stay here, but even this place will fall eventually. What's with all the cubes? I don't understand any of this. What should I do? Please help me. You just gotta climb. Learn some techniques to get higher. Techniques? Like what? Oh, come on, teach me! Anything! Um, maybe this'll help. Allow me to explain the tornado. If blocks are stacked all over the place, calm down and pull them out one by one. Move them aside and bring them down like a tornado. Then make a staircase and climb. Oh, is that how you climb? Wow, you're amazing! Oh, I think I can go on a little longer! I'm thinking about that technique you showed me, so I won't forget! I think the technique went like this. Allow me to explain the twin. If blocks are stacked all over, move them aside, then make a stair- I think I'm gonna keep going! What the hell? Hmm? What do you want? No, nothing. Let's make it out alive. I'm not sure I feel about being encouraged by a sheep. But I guess it's better than being a chef. Or even worse, a kitchen hand. Huh? What's a kitchen band? I said hand, you idiot! Kitchen hand, like a cook. Pay attention. Oh, sorry. <sighs> kitchen bed. Sorry for shouting, but you need to listen better. There's nothing. Oh, you're new here, am I right? Let me ask, do you have any coins? You may have seen them lying around while you're climbing. I'll trade you useful items for them. Huh? Why would you rather have coins than an item? I'm a numismatist. I love money. There's nothing in life money can't buy. I've got a plaque with that on it in my office. No matter what world you're in, as long as you've got money, you can do anything. These gold coins are symbols, symbolizing money. And if that's the case, then I can save myself if I have enough of it. That's my theory, Amy. Oh, so you don't know... If you are still having trouble getting through a stage, you can buy items with coin. If you are already carrying an item, it will be replaced if you buy a new one. Be careful. However, buying items makes it more difficult to earn the gold prize. If you want an item, pony up some coins. Tonight's product is... The white cube creates a platform of blocks at your feet. Nah, I don't need it. Huh? You think you're window shopping or something, fro-man? Uh, uh... <clears throat> Excuse me. Please come again. Hey, are you the same as me? Were you put down here by some trick? 
why were we chosen? Do you know anything? Come on! How can I survive? I can't keep climbing! I don't know anything either. Listen, if you want to live and climb, that's all you can do. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Gotta stay calm. <sighs> calm? Hey, didn't you shove me just a few minutes ago? How dare you? You're just some sheep! I'll shove you next time! Hey, I heard that all the sheep here are actually people. News flash! Fuck you! I need to make sure I survive! Jeez, that's horrible. Yeah? What good is having pity going to do you in here? No matter what happens to anyone else, I'm gonna live! No matter what happens to anyone else, I'm gonna live! I do feel better now. Thanks. You're here, Lost Lamb. Next question. What do you value? Man, I've had enough of this. A man's worth can't be measured by a single question. Not to mention, you have more than one path ahead of you. <laughs> This is the second question. Does life begin or end with marriage? Hmm. So that's your answer. I see. This is actually a giant chapel with eight floors. Wait, so does that mean there's an end to this? The world is in a state of flux. I won't be able to guarantee what your future holds. Be careful what you take for granted. I'm sure you've heard the stories of people losing such things. Something big is coming. I can feel it. Something the likes of which this world has never seen. <sighs> I guess there's no point in worrying about the future. You have more pressing matters to attend to. <laughs> Are you ready? I don't like that laugh. So what the hell's going on here? You won't escape. Huh? What? That voice? Where have I... I won't escape! Uh, what the hell is this? Catherine? The fists of grudge have appeared. It's the killer. Do not die. Assist, you'll automatically climb back to where you left off. 
The setting to turn retry assist on or off can be found is handy for getting rid of tricky obstacles such as cracked blocks or immovable blocks. Perhaps you should use Undo. auto.
this. Gone? I'm safe, right? Yeah! Congratulations are in order. Your escape from the prison of despair was perfection indeed. Promised, I have something special to show you tonight. Think back to long ago. Back to a time when you felt happy. Sorry about today. I don't usually burn the bacon like that. It's all right. I don't mind it a little crispy. I can tell something's going on with you. Are you working too hard? <laughs> no, I'm fine. <laughs> You've been gaining weight, haven't you? Can't forget to eat your veggies. Well, I put ketchup on almost everything. <laughs> that doesn't count. You know what? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Maybe a little workout will burn out those extra calories. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
What do you think? Fond memories, huh? You should think long and hard about what you have to lose. Let's do this again tomorrow. If you can survive, that is. is just a tradition, right? Seriously, who wants to be tied down? As long as two people are together, it's okay, right? It's best to be free, don't you think? Kind of surprising. Hmm? You know how it is with most girls. As soon as they're adults, all they can think about is tying the knot, right? But there are girls like you out there. <laughs> Never knew. Oh, it's not that strange, is it? Men aren't the only ones who fear being chained down. I'll remember that. Thank goodness. Huh? We think alike. Oh! to work tomorrow, so I need to get home. Oh, oh. I had fun tonight. Oh, oh. You must like what you see. <laughs> I'm not staring. You're a bad liar. <laughs> you taste like smoke, <laughs> but I don't mind. <laughs> you don't say. This is not good. Hmm? <gasps> what is it good? Well, uh, you know, hooking up after we just met. Jeez, what the hell am I saying? Hmm. Huh? Um, is this gonna be a problem? So, okay, I cheated on Catherine. This is bad. This is really, really bad. But I didn't make a move. She forced herself on me. Oh, fuck, man. I drank way too much. Ha <laughs> Uh... Would you mind not staring at me like that? It's kind of creepy. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Listen, I don't want you to get the wrong idea, okay? I don't just sleep around. I came here because I like you. Huh? No. Shh. No. So, how do you feel about me? Huh? Oh, wow, um, I can't quite explain it. Uh, I feel odd. Hmm? You see, this is my first time. Oh, wow, I can't believe it. And I am really screwing this up right now. So then, it was love at first sight? Huh? What? I'm sorry. I'm really... You said you have to work, right? Work? Uh, I guess... Sorry! I, uh, I gotta go now. I have a, um, a dentist appointment now. Dentist? Yeah, dentists get angry if you're late, too. Oh, I wanted to stay with you a little longer. I guess they'll have to wait until next time. <laughs> okay, see you soon! Hey, wait! I'm actually dating someone. Oh, this is a mistake. A mistake. It's gotta be a mistake. Uh, 
Ah, you know what? It just hit me. You know how they say every guy has three hot streaks with the ladies in his life? This is your third. Hot streaks? Well, when the hell were the other two? When we were kids, you're the most popular with the girls. <laughs> I don't remember that. The second time you were in the zone was when you started dating Catherine. Although, uh, that's over if she finds out about this. <sighs> Crap, man. She's probably gonna kill me. That's what you're all scared about. As long as she doesn't find out, you're safe, right? Just act like it never happened. I'm not like you. I can't just ignore this. Well then, why not switch it up? That way you won't hear any more marriage talk, right? All that stuff about soulmates and eternal love is bullshit. Married life sucks, man. You really want to go through the same shit I have? I'm not like you. I don't want to sleep around. I just want life to stay the same. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. If you're gonna whine, you shouldn't have done it, dumbass. Well, no shit. I wish I could just live all carefree like you. Don't you realize there's nothing you can do, you schmuck? No matter how good you are to a woman, you never know if she'll stab you in the back. <sighs> well, if you're gonna ditch the new girl, hook me up. She's cute, right? You got a picture of her? Nice. No, I don't have her pic. She's not your type, anyway. Come on, how do you know that? Because she's my type. Oh. I am so fucked. Hey, have you heard the rumor about the dream where you're falling? Huh? Who cares? Come on, if you fall and die in the dream, you'll die in real life. My friend's boyfriend almost died. Isn't that scary? Huh? How do you know? Were you able to see his dream? Hey, you all right, man? You don't look so hot. Uh, I guess I didn't really get much sleep last night. Obviously. Anyway, you're way too freaked out over a one-night stand. Hey, you paying attention? Listen, man. Huh. I never saw the girl. Whoa, really? I figured one of you guys told her to sit with me. Eh, if this girl was cute, you'd definitely remember. You know, I gotta say, because of you jerks, I never get a chance to date anyone. If I was a ladies' man, I wouldn't be here every night with you guys. Anyway, you dig the older chicks, don't you? Yeah, I want a woman who's, you know, mature, stern, and has a nice pair of heels. Whoa, man. I like that creepy guy in horror movies who tries too hard to be noticed. Shut up! I'm not like that! What's wrong with, you know, having some adult fun with someone older than I am? Hmm. So, did I hear someone call for me? Oh, hey, Erica! I've got a nice pair of stiletto heels I know how to use. Whoa, Erica. Okay, enough of that. So have you guys heard about the woman's wrath? They say it targets cheating men and kills them, or not. Which is it? Wait, 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 what? What exactly is this woman's wrath? Oh, you don't need to worry about it. You only care about your girl, Vincent. Oh, what are you talking about? This guy totally needs to know. Cheating is pathetic. I agree with Toby. Pathetic. What are you calling pathetic? Shut up and eat your peanuts. Ow, my eye! Huh? What? You're cheating. Weren't you talking about marriage? Why don't you say it louder? Seriously, stop yelling about cheating and shit. I think someone on Mars didn't quite hear you. Oh, that's low, Vincent. Lowest of the low. Don't call me that. Now you know. Just leave me alone. Well, well, come on, tell me about this girl. Oh, God. Apparently, she's destiny level cute. Cut that shit out. Are you kidding? Finding your soulmate is awesome. I'm totally jealous. You jackasses better not mention this to anyone outside the bar. I am serious. Dude, we know the drill. Say, have you heard? It seems that Boss was a bit of a player back in the day and broke more than his share of hearts. You see how he's wearing those tacky sunglasses indoors? They say he's using those to hide his face. <laughs> yeah, right. 
sure and hot water yourself, right? Maybe you should invest in some shades. Ha ha ha. Shut up. I'm done fooling around. Oh, by the way, Rin's gonna play the piano here starting today. That? Okay. Hello. Do you know where you are? Okay. Never mind that. Uh, how about a name? Uh, uh, Rin. Rin? That's a nice name. Uh, who is that, though? What's that? Amateur hour. Oh, don't say that. Rin's working really hard. Uh, Vincent? What did you think of my performance? Oh, it was, uh, great. Yeah, it was great. Really, uh, unique. Thank you so much. I was hoping to play a little better than that, but... Don't worry about it. No one gets things perfect the first time around. I guess you're right. I'll have to keep practicing. Yeah, if the bar doesn't go out of business by then. God! Well, I'll see you later. See ya. <laughs> well, nobody's perfect. I mean, <laughs> if she's that cute, who cares, right? <laughs> What's up with you anyway? Saving some cute girl from a stalker in the streets? Sounds like a daytime soap opera. That stuff doesn't really happen. Well, it did, so give it a rest. Does that girl really have amnesia? Erica, you took her to the doctor, right? Did they find anything? Not really. They think it's only temporary. But it must be hard when the only thing you remember is wanting to play piano. Hey, so are you two really neighbors now? Yeah. The uh, last guy just happened to move out. Better keep your hands off her. Oh, shut up. It's not like that. I, I'm an old man over here. But you guys really came through for us. You know it. Having Rin work here was a great idea, huh? We have you guys and even a police officer as customers. Not to mention, public spaces are a lot safer if she's really being stalked by someone. Yeah. some time at the bar. You can drink by pressing the square button, or get up by pressing the circle button. You can open menus with the options button. You can change the puzzle type and difficulty of the game in config. Here, you've gotten your hands on something special. The true power of that item can be unleashed in the bathroom. a shot every time she hit a wrong note. <laughs> That's a deal breaker for me, no matter how cute she is. Anyway, you and Catherine have been together a long time, right? What was it like in the beginning? I just want to know for reference. <laughs> it wasn't anything special. It was at the reunion. He was giving her dating advice. Then he ended up falling for her himself, right? He ran to her side in the middle of the night when she was depressed, after all. Hey, stop that. Stand-up guy like that turns out to be a cheater. <laughs> Seriously. Ren's gonna be fine. We'll keep an eye on her. What about you, though? Are you okay? That thing about men who cheat being cursed? 
Apparently, it's related to those mysterious deaths. You mean, like how Paul died? Yeah. Word is, this is getting called the Woman's Wrath. <laughs> Sounds like something Erica would like to have. Hey, Paul's been here a few times, right? Yeah. He was a classmate of ours back in high school. I ran into him just the other day. Seriously? How was he? We just traded greetings, but he looked fine. Maybe I should have paid more attention. Hey, it's not your fault, man. Hmm? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you got a mail. You can take your phone out to check it by pressing the triangle button. You can also save images and messages. That girl, Rin, right? You filed a police report, yeah? Guess we'll hear something sooner or later. Worst case, we'll just let her stick around here. Don't even think about making a move on her, all right? Ha, <laughs> you're one to talk. You got your own shit to figure out first. You seriously okay, man? They say men who cheat get cursed. Curse? That's so stupid, I can't even laugh at it. <laughs> the timing's too good. Still, I can't believe you cheat. But if she's that cute a girl, maybe it's a lucky accident, huh? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> well, good luck keeping it a secret. That or beg for her forgiveness. This isn't something forgivable. Well, she's a bit cold. But Catherine's a good girl. You don't have to tell me that. Got a mail. Maybe if I talked to Paul more, this wouldn't have happened. You're actually really sensitive, aren't you? You don't look it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shut up. You got a mail. <sighs> when you drink, you can raise your intoxication level up to three times. How drunk Vincent gets corresponds to how fast he moves that night in his nightmare. Never cheated in my life before. <sighs> Cheating, huh? It's not like I can just apologize for it and everything will be fine. I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia for you as you seem to have finished your glass. Rum is made from the sugar cane grown in the Caribbean. Other popular cocktails that feature rum include the Mai Tai, the mojito, and the pina colada. How about pairing a nice cocktail with a juicy steak? That was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Empty already? Hey, can I get a drink? Understood. Here you go. Uh, uh, uh Ren, I didn't order wine. It looks really expensive. The full-bodied stuff. I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia about wine for those who are enjoying Catherine full body. Unlike white wine, red wine isn't categorized as sweet or dry. To express the richness of a red wine, it is described by likening it to the shape of a woman's body. Light, medium, and full. Hmm. I wonder what a full body looks like. And that was the trivia for tonight. Please enjoy a variety of alcoholic drinks and learn more trivia facts. Rin, that wine is for another customer. Oh? Sorry, I made a... Well, don't worry about it. But please let me know if there's anything else you'd like to order. What would you like to order? I'll try sake. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Okay. Thank you for waiting. Whew. No use worrying about it now. I just have to accept it as a one-time screw up. Mm. I'm glad Rin's doing okay, but her performance is still... Well... I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia about sake for you, as you seem to have finished your cup. Daiginjo and Honjozo 
are two of the many varieties of sake the brand produces. Do you know what differentiates one type from another? The differences in the varieties of sake can be attributed to the degree of polishing that rice undergoes during the brewing process. The Ginjo contains the highest amount of polished rice, followed by Ginjo and Honjozo. Junmai is produced without using brewer's alcohol. Compared to the average polishing ratio of 90%, a minimum of 50% of the rice must be polished away to classify a sake as so much is forsaken to acquire such an exquisite taste. Be sure to drink every last drop. And that was the sake trivia for tonight. Empty already? You still want to drink? No, I'm cool. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Oh, uh, sorry for staring. <laughs> Please sit. Have you ever heard this story before? The man who climbs the highest mountain gets his every wish granted. What's that? It said a man climbed that mountain 300 years ago and was given a fortune. It said a man climbed that mountain 700 years ago and was given the world. A man who climbs the mountain now will be given his future to do it as he pleases. Is this a fairy tale or something? These are true stories. The story of Rapunzel is based on this true story. A prince who was able to climb a very tall tower gained his princess. Now, what will you gain? Huh? Will you become the man of legends? Huh? That's Catherine. Oh, hello. It's me. What is it, Catherine? Well... Catherine? It's okay. I think I should tell you face to face. Huh? Mr. Morgan will like that piano. I wonder if that piano will bless Mr. Morgan. You got a mail.
Just changed jobs. I don't have any cash. I can't marry her like this. Fuck. Men are only acknowledged by their upward mobility. Don't be a tumbleweed. Be like Ivy, always climbing. Time will slowly pass each time you sit and talk to people. Have fun with the other bar patrons. Over time, the people and the conversation topics will change. Some customers are experiencing difficulties. Try to cheer them up when you can. You can go home at any time from the door in the front. Perhaps it wasn't the best idea to hire a musician for her looks. It's just that when I saw her, I felt an arrow pierce my heart. That's a miracle you haven't run this place into the ground. <clears throat> Any, have you seen the news recently? It's nothing but stories about those dead. They said that there are several people who died in the same fashion. Erica says that people believe it's a curse given when a woman is scorned by an unfaithful man. A grown man talking about curses? It just ignore Erica. A woman's guess is much more accurate than a man's certainty. To pitch a phrase from a certain someone. You then there's nothing to worry about. Erica's guesses are never on target. And by the way, you look a bit glum. Hey boss, you uh, you ever cheated on someone? My, my, my. It is not like that. It was an unintentional event. Unintentional? Are you sure about that? I'm sure. Besides, I heard you're wearing those shades to hide from an ex-girlfriend. Love is the whole history of a woman's life. It is but an episode in a man. And to borrow a lie from a certain someone. Anyway, it's a strange rumor, and both of us should be careful. Yeah, I wonder if the woman's wrath I heard about from Erica is real. She said that I was going to die somewhere along the line. Apparently, I have a wanting look to my eyes. Would I be cursed for unfaithfulness for this, too? Whatever. Still, she really rags on you, huh? Woman's dearest delight is to wound man's self-conceit. To wrangle the words of a certain someone. But tell me, do I look vain or otherwise untoward? I don't know, but in Erica's case, it's a bit different. I cannot deny that I look upon Rin with a certain male gay. Regardless, let's both try to avoid any curses and deaths, shall we? Men are only acknowledged by their upward mobility. today either. Go to the arcade machine to play a video game. You can play up to three games a night. The rules are the same as the nightmare stages. However, there is no time limit, but you do have a limited number of moves. If you use up all your moves, you will get a game over. So take your time in solving the puzzle. You can change the puzzle mode in the config menu. Trying out different modes might lead you to discover new techniques. There are many challenges hidden in this game. Try them out. I remember this. Let's do this!
No more continues, maybe? <laughs> Change the background music in the bar. The selections of songs will increase as you progress through the story. Try them out. Torture chamber. I wonder what kind of punishment will be waiting for you. Huh? What's this? A hidden shelf? There's something inside. What are these glasses? I guess I'll try them on. If you ever wish to take those naughty glasses on or off, make your way to the bar's restroom. Have fun. I gotta go take a leak. Hey, uh, is it true Orlando's divorced? Huh? You didn't know? He got married while he was pretty young. He lost a lot of money in some scam wife left him. He pretends not to mind, but I think it still gets to him sometimes. Even when his wife calls him, he... Huh? What do you mean? Um, well, never mind. We'll, we'll talk about it later. I guess we're done today. You got a mail.
just so slowly here. It's really nice. What do you usually do here, Vincent? Uh, oh, um, well... I guess I drink and relax. <laughs> that sounds like fun. I'd love to join you when things aren't so crazy. Oh, uh... <laughs> I wonder who the stalker was. Rin doesn't seem worried, but you can never be too careful. Well, if shit hits the fan, you'll protect her, right? It's your problem, too? Seriously. Annie, you a cheater? Who would have thought? Don't you care about Catherine? Uh, of course, but I feel like I wasn't even involved with it. Well, you were. I hate to be so confrontational, but ch ch men and cheat are cursed. If that rumor's real, what are you gonna do? Nothing, because it's not real. No new leads today, huh? No new leads today.